All right, guys, welcome back to Strong Successful Male. So for today, I'm going to go over a story titled, Wife Wants Open Marriage with a Fair Partner. And guys, unlike other stories I've done in the last few months about guys telling the situation where their wife out of the blue wants an open marriage, in this particular story, this is about a guy who openly admits that his wife of many years, 20 years it says, and he has kids with her, has had an affair three different times. Every time that something goes bad in their marriage, there's some problems, instead of working it out, talking about it and trying to work it out, she goes out and has an affair. Real nice, huh? And it's happened not once, not twice, but three times. And now she wants to have an open marriage. And this guy just keeps going along with this. It's crazy because just you can tell, obviously, that this guy, he may be a good guy, but he's weak. Because if she saw him as strong and saw him as a prize, believe me, she wouldn't be pulling the same crap over and over again. She may do it once, but that guy would kick her to the curb and say, that's it, lady, out of here. But he just keeps forgiving her and letting her get away with it. And it goes to show you guys, and and, the point of this story is, guys, is that, number one, if you're married and she wants open marriage, you say, no open marriage or it's over. Or pretty much, let's be honest here, if she's at the point that she wants open marriage, it is over anyway. But also, if if, if she sees weakness in you, she's going to pull more crap. A leopard doesn't change its spots. And you got to remember that as I go through this story here. So getting right into it, the guy says, I've been married for over 20 years and with wonderful kids. Great house. We are very much in love and have a wonderfully active sex life at least four to five nights a week. If she wants an open marriage and she's had three affairs over the years, you're not very much in love. Come on, man. You're deluding yourself. He says... We've had our fair share of marital problems, like most people. One issue that has plagued us is my wife's infidelity. She often spoke about being different and that she didn't know if she could ever be monogamous, that she felt love was infinite and that she felt she wanted others besides me, but she felt ashamed and knew what society would call women like her. So in a situation like this, guys, he doesn't say if she said that before they got married or after, but generally when a woman or anybody for that matter tells you things about themselves, pay attention because listen to that. Don't think that you're going to be the one that's going to change him. I bet you this guy thought that he'd be different and that he could change her. Well, guess what? Didn't happen. So don't ever think that, okay? Someone tells you who they are, what they're all about, you listen to them because believe me, it's going to come back. He says... She had three affairs over 20 years. Each came at a stressful point in our marriage, which brought us close to divorce. The last two were not that serious. When confronted about them, she broke them off without a second thought. She may have thought it wasn't that serious, but believe me, if she's stepping out and hooking up with some other guy, it is serious, okay? It doesn't matter if she does it once or does it 50 times. It's serious. But notice she keeps doing it again and again when things get bad. That's not someone you want to have a relationship with, let alone be married to, that when things get bad, instead of trying to work it out, they step out. Remember that, guys. Remember that if this is what you guys want, if you guys want to have relationships or, God forbid, you think you still want to get married. After, I think after watching a lot of my work, you're going to definitely have second thoughts about that. It continues, In the time between these events, I tried to give her another outlet for these feelings. We tried swinging briefly, which didn't pan out. She even exposed her bisexual side by seeing other women. That didn't work either. The third one is different. This is a crush from college who she had kept in very occasional contact with over the years, but reconnected on Facebook in 2013 and found that they still had feelings for each other and started having an affair. It is always going to be like this. I guarantee you. Women like this or people like this can go both ways. Don't change. Okay? When things are good, they may have let that stuff slide, but the second things get bad, like he's talked about, it will continue. You've got to remember that, guys. We, again, were having problems and other stresses at the time. And when I confronted her about this one, she denied it for as long as she could until I found proof. This time, she would not stop seeing him. The only barrier was that this man lives two hours away, and it's not easy for them to see each other. You hear that? She wouldn't stop seeing the guy. Even though her husband found out about this, he had to, dig, he, he had to find proof because she was lying about it and, uh, and denied it. And now she says that she wouldn't stop seeing him. Does, does it sound like she respects this guy? Not a chance. This guy is the husband, the father of her kids. He's the meal ticket. And that's that. Okay, believe me, if she respected this guy, believe me, when he said, that's it, it's over, 
she would have stopped. Okay. Or at least if she respected this guy, you know, she would at least not be hooking up at least you would think with other dudes. But uh, in this particular case, she doesn't respect the guy. He just forgives her and lets this go on and it keeps happening. It's crazy. This guy, the second he found about her first affair, boom, that should have been it and over with done. But he kept forgiving her and look what happened. It's a shame. It's like you 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 want to feel bad for this guy, but on the other hand, you want to slap him beside the head for just allowing this shit, you know? Continues. Again, we were at the brink of divorce. She asked for a separation and moved into the spare room. But after a couple months, we resumed having sex at my request. Even while she continued her affair, she even at one point suggested we try an open marriage and suggested I find a girlfriend. So once I did, she didn't like that at all. She said it was because I didn't tell her that I was going to do it and lied about it first, which is true. But I also think she was experiencing feelings of jealousy that she had not felt before. Hey, too bad. She brought out the open marriage after she had multiple affairs, and she's mad and jealous because this guy actually was having some fun with another girl? Come on here. Give me a break. And this guy's actually going to, like, stop doing this? This is why he's in this situation. Guys, you treat, you teach people how to treat you. Remember that. When you allow people to treat you in a certain way and you don't call them on their bullshit and stand up for yourself, that's just inviting them to continue more of all that crap. Got to remember that. He goes on, long story short, we reconciled, bullshit, we reconciled and the other relationships went dormant. But I knew that she occasionally communicated this with this guy by looking at her phone, but there was long stretches of no contact. I wanted to let her come with me, come to me with this, but she didn't. I admit that I didn't want to confront her because everything she said else had been going so well. See, he's afraid to confront her on things. You you guys gotta stand up for yourself. If someone's mistreating you, I don't care who it is, you gotta confront. You gotta assert yourself and say ain't gonna S ain't cool and lay down the law. And if they don't obey the law, so to speak, you're out of there. Period. But this, she knows this guy's weak. She knows that she can have her way with him. And believe me, she she's obviously on the pedestal that he looks up to. And this is what happens. He goes on. Anyway, I found out that she was texting him again, and it was sexual nature. I knew I had to talk to her. See? Leopard doesn't change a spot. So I asked her if there was anything she wanted to tell me. She started to cry and said she had been trying to come to me for a long time to talk to me about why she wanted, what she wanted in her life and couldn't find the right words. She said she still loves me more than anything in the world, loves our family, loves our life together, and does not want to lose that. And yet she still has feelings for this other man and wants him in her life too and feels awful about it. Whenever, uh, it's, it's funny, but a lot of times when a woman's put, put in the corner, that's when the waterworks start. And you hear the, I, I love you and I love the family and the kids and I want it to work. Meanwhile, that's only after, you know, she was caught. And, and guys can do this too, don't get me wrong, but in this particular case, with women, it happens a lot. The waterworks come out. But she says she still wants the guy and she feels terrible about it. No, she doesn't. She wants to have her cake and eat it too. And guys like this would allow it. It's crazy. He says, we talked all day about it and she again brought up the idea of an open marriage. But she just doesn't know how, it could, how we can make it work. She doesn't want me to lie anymore and deny who she is. The thing is, and why I'm writing this under the poly section is, I don't believe she wants an open marriage. I think she wants a poly mono relationship, but can't bring herself to say it because it sounds unfair. She confessed to the, to the other guy that she loves me and has no intention of leaving me, but she still wants him. And he is okay with that. He said he was, of course, but I don't think he really understands what he's getting himself into. I think it's just a case of half a loaf of bread is better than no loaf at all. No, this guy who she's having the affair with, he's able to hook up and have some fun from time to time, and that's that, and go about his business. End of story. Friends with benefits, whatever you want to call it. Meanwhile, this is his wife. And the fact that this guy's even considering allowing this, it's crazy. But I mean, just, this is what happens, guys. You never allow someone to mistreat you like that. Otherwise, you're just inviting more bad behavior. This guy should end it immediately. I, I keep saying this, but I got it really hit home here in case any of you guys are in a situation like this or if one comes down the road. He says, as for me, I know I'm wired for monogamy. A big surprise. I have no problems. I have, 
I have no problems having sex with other women, but I tend to fall in love too easily. Again, no surprise there. And don't know if I could, sh- don't know if I should open that door. During my brief relationship with the other women, the feelings came too fast. But I feel that was due to the state of our marriage at the time and being so lonely. In some ways, I credit the other women to bringing my wife and I and I back together because I think, I think it put my wife in touch with emotions she didn't know that were there. But I don't think I could ever accept a poly mono relationship, so I'd be almost compelled to look for another relationship or at least some casual hookups. So my question is, could this ever work? Or will this just blow up in our faces? I've been trying to research this on my own and can't figure it out, but it's akin to learning a new language. Well, to answer that real quick, no, it's not going to work. Okay, it is not going to work. This is not the type of guy that can handle an open marriage. He can try to do it to make himself feel better temporarily or something like that, but it's not going to work. He said there he is a monogamous type of guy, and if that's who you are, okay, that's fine. But being married to someone like this, she's going to keep cheating and cheating and cheating nonstop. And, of course, all the lying involved. And, you know, if, if you are married and you're with someone like this or you're in a relationship, is this what you really want? To constantly be sleeping with one eye open, constantly wondering who she's texting, emailing, all that? Seriously. Not to mention uh, STIs. So in a situation like this, I'd say, no, dude, it's not going to work. Don't even think about it. I would say getting pretty much forming an exit strategy, getting out of this marriage, because she will constantly do it. No matter how much she cries, no matter how much she says it'll never happen again, guaranteed it will happen again, over and over and over again. Just get out and move on, okay? You know, it'd be different if this guy, he could handle this type of thing. If he thought, hey, okay, I'll have a, I'll have a girlfriend too and everything's cool. Because some, in some situations, some guys are for that, but it's rare. But most of the time, you know, the women these days want this more than the guys. And of course, we all know it's much easier for women to attract a guy than it is for men to attract a woman. It's it's so much easier. So, you know, especially with a, you know, friends and benefits or pure hooking up type of scenario here. So, but again, you can see through this story, guys, this guy invited this bad behavior by, uh, by allowing it and constantly forgiving her and believing her BS stories. It's just, it's a shame. It really is, you know, but at the end of the day, you got to take account, actually, you got to take accountability for your own actions here. So this guy should get out and move the hell on and really consider if he ever wants to do something like this again. So, all right, guys, that is it for today. Quick little story about the open marriage. Again, remember, you're in a situation like this, don't let, it, don't let it slide. Do not allow this. It's a recipe for disaster. Trust me on this. That's when you get out. That's when you know things are done. Okay, seriously. And if someone cheats on you, move on because it's going to happen over and over and over again. So, all right, guys, that's it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. And be sure to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.